our natural inclination while looking at a group photograph is to start try to lo locate ourselves. In the budget also, every time you try to look at the budget, how it has impacted us. Now, if uh, for us, with people more than 8 lakh income per year, there hasn't been much change, but there can be three small, small things which has happened in this budget. One, the standard deduction has been increased from 40,000 to 50,000. So therefore, on 10,000 rupees, if you are at a 30% tax bracket, you will be saving 3,000 rupees. The second thing which has happened is that uh, the stamp duty on securities transaction, this is getting rationalized. So it won't change the rate any, but this will make the system slightly simpler. And third, if you have a, uh, if you are selling a real estate and buying other, other pieces of real estate, in that case, earlier you could get rebate only for one property. In this case, then, uh, you can utilize the proceeds uh, for two properties. But overall, if you look at the budget, what is the big picture telling? First of all, one has to understand this is an interim budget. So this is not a full budget. This budget is for up to the ele election. So this is an interim budget. So therefore, there hasn't been much uh, declaration. In fact, there hasn't been any declaration so far as the capital spending is concerned. So the focus has been on revenue spending. And it, we want us to also remember that this is a pre-election budget. And therefore, one always expected some level of uh, pop, uh, populism within this budget. And budget has lived up to that. And two specific categories where we are expecting positive impact. One is to address the rural distress. There has been, for small and marginal farmers, uh, a special income scheme of 6,000 rupees per family. And uh, this, will, this will, the over, overall outgo of the government for this will be 75 to 80,000 crore. In fact, this spending has been far less than one, uh, one what was uh, uh, thinking uh, could have been up to 1 lakh, 1 lakh 50,000 crore. Second, uh, there has been increase in uh, the uh, allocation for Narega, uh, MG Narega, the uh, Rural Employment Creation Scheme. Uh, that, that expenditure has been increased. And third, there has been a uh, rib, uh, rebate which is being given to people with taxable income up to 5 lakh. Uh, so uh, apart from that, there has also been an uh, extended pension scheme uh, for a poorer section of the population. So these, these are kind of measures which overall will result in additional expenditure of 1 lakh crore or thereabout, which is almost 50 bips of GDP. This is sort of a consumption push and this should positively impact the economic, economic growth. Now, in a normal circumstance, this increased expenditure and the consequent larger budget deficit, which has been increased from 3.4% of the GDP, 3.3% uh, of the GDP to 3.4% of the GDP for the current year, as well as for the next year, should have been um, a significant negative. But given that we are already in a low inflationary situation, and given that the growth impulses in the recent past has weakened a bit, this is actually a positive development, we would think though it's a populist measure, but this should improve consumption, this should improve, improve, uh, this should improve the GDP growth, and given that we are at a low inflationary phase, this should not have much negative impact on the inflation side. So this is, actu this is actually a positive thing, but there are apprehensions, the government is talking about so many spending plans, and government is actually reducing taxes, particularly for the low, low income salaried people, so how are they going to fund it? Is it going to result in significant increase in market borrowing? Uh, actually, it isn't. Though the overall, the gross number is looking large at 7.1 lakh crore. The net number, which is at 4.77 lakh crore, is just 50,000 rupees higher than the current, year, the current year. And remember, for the current year, you have cut down the market borrowing by 70,000 crore. So the net change is not much. On the top of that, under for to uh, infuse liquidity, RBI is currently doing a very aggressive what you call open market operation. So basically, RBI is buying bonds and giving money to the market. So the we don't think a 50,000 50, crore increase in uh, uh, market borrowing is a major issue, as also 10 bips or one percentage point increase in fiscal deficit for the current and the same level of fiscal deficit in the next year. We don't think this is a very negative thing. 
the question naturally arises despite doing all those things if the market borrowing is not going up is there anything wrong in the numbers we have had a very quick look at the detailed numbers and our sense is that there is not uh, no obvious uh, jugglery with the numbers yes there has been in uh, the corporate tax collection target which was less than 9% in the budget, uh, in the last budget or the current budget has been increased to somewhere close to 18% 17.5 to be specific but this has been done in turn in line with actually the tax policy of corporate tax has been very strong it's growing at 17.5% uh, precisely so that number has been taken for the current year and a 13% 13.5% additional has been planned for the next year so there also we don't see any obvious jugglery so net net what do we want to say this budget is not going to directly impact you in a major way you will uh, get safe tax to the extent of 3000 3, crore uh, on account of increase in standard deduction uh, the second thing is that this is a th this budget does not talk much about the capital spending on the revenue side it has definitely given a stimulus to the extent of a lakh crore or 0.5 percent of the gdp which should positively impact uh, gdp and maybe slightly increase inflation but given that we are at 2.2% inflation that is not a major risk uh, and in fact we would say that the popul populist policies which you are thinking the actual outcome has been much 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 lower than that and lastly what we don't see much wrong with the budget data so overall uh, there has been increase in deficit but the extent of increase in deficit or the extent of increase in uh, extent of increase in the market borrowing is not much so we would think that the impact of this pol um, policy on the on the equity market will be neutral to slightly positive because of the consumption push and that will play out in the next 12 months or on the on the on the bond market side we think the impact is modestly negative because government has increased the uh, increased the market borrowing plan by 50000 crore but having said that since rbi is doing rbi is buying bonds very aggressively to infuse liquidity even in the bond market we don't expect the impact to be large so that's what our take on the budget thank you